question number 13. Uh, express y in terms of x or e. Okay, so this one is just expressing. Not too bad. So 6 ln y equals 5 ln x. Okay, so I can bring this up here, bring this up here. So I get ln y power 6 equals ln x power 5. Now I can cancel the ln because both of them got ln. Now some people don't understand why I can cancel. Reason is because even if I don't cancel, right, the ln here is ln is actually log, correct? Log e. So if the log e I bring to the other side, it becomes exponent. So it becomes e to the power of ln x uh, 5. Okay. So if this is the case, the ln and the e will cancel. So what you have left is x power 5. So that means there's no more lawn here and there's no more lawn on the right side. So it's actually the same thing. Okay. So in other words, when you see lawn and lawn, they can just cancel. So you get y power 6 equals to x power 5. And then they ask for y, right? So y equals to x. So if I bring the 6 across, it becomes root 6, right? So root 6 is the same as power 1 over 6. So you get 5 over 6. Okay, so this is your answer. Question 2. Lon x plus y square minus 3 equals 0. So this one I can bring the 3 across there. You get positive 3. And then when I bring the lon, it becomes e to the power of 3. So x plus y square equals e to the power of 3. So y square equals to e power 3 minus x and then the square you bring over becomes square root so i can just uh, straight away write the answer so y equals to square root e power 3 minus x now don't forget to uh, write down the domain huh? so we know that when there is square root e cubed minus x must be more than or equal to zero okay so negative x is more than equal to negative e power 3. So I divide by negative 1, I get x e power 3. Don't forget the sign must change. So this is the domain. Okay, so this is how you do this. Now question B. Okay. Diagram 9 shows the length of chord BC at a semicircle. So this is a chord here. Okay, they gave you the man, me measurement here. It is given that the length AD is this. So AD is the diameter, right? Diameter. So this is the center here. The diameter is uh, x plus 2 third 2. Okay. The ratio of the radius, okay. Ratio of the radius of the semicircle to the length of chord is this ratio okay so the radius well let's find the radius radius is uh, x plus 2 third 2 over 2 okay this is the radius because this is the diameter right so the radius and the ratio between the radius to the this chord is 6 to 1 okay find the value of x in the form of this such that a and b are rational numbers so we can use the ratio so the ratio is given okay let's say this o huh? so the radius is a o okay a to o this is the radius a to o so a o over the chord so b c equals 6 to 1 okay that's the ratio that's given so you can cross multiply so you can get a o equals to 6 b c okay just cross multiply so AO is the radius which we have already we have already found here the radius x plus 2 third 2 over 2 equals to 6 times BC so BC is also given here x third 2 minus 1 okay so we just have to rearrange this then we can solve it lah. so what am I going to do so I'm going to bring the 2 there times 2 so x plus 2 third 2 equals to 12 so 12 x minus 12 okay let me just write up here 
Mm, you want to rearrange. So I'm going to bring the x to the right side and the number to the left side. So 12 plus 2 set 2 equals to 12 x set 2 minus x. So when I factorize the x, I will get 12 set 2 minus 1. Oopsie. Minus 1. So I bring to the right, uh, left side, so in the end I get x equals to 12 plus 2 set 2 divided by 12 set 2 minus 1. Okay, so am I going to leave it like this? Uh, no, uh, because we don't want the set to be at the denominator. So times 12 set 2 plus 1. 12 set 2 plus 1. So now what we will have is mm, 12 times 12 is 144, so 2 plus 12 plus 24, so 2 plus 2, so 2. Divide by 12, so 2 times 12, so 2, you get 144 times 2, 288 minus 1. So what do we have here? Oh wait, did I count wrongly? Wait, uh, let me see. I might have done something wrong. 2, 12, oh, okay. This time I did something wrong. Yeah, this is not 24. 2 times 12 is 24 and then you have to times 2 so it is 48. Okay, my bad. So 14 and 2 is so 2 so I get 1, 4, 6, so 2 plus 48 plus 12 is 60 over 287 okay so your answer is this but they ask you to leave in this format here a plus b set 2 so what i can do is i can break it up break the fraction up so you, in the end you get your answer x equals to so the a value should be 60 over 287 and the B value should be 146 over 287 and then set 2. Okay, so I just put this together and put this together. Okay, I just break break them apart. Lah. So you still you get this format. Lah. Okay, this format here. So this should be your answer. Can we simplify? Mm, I don't think so, yeah. So that's that's the answer. Lah. That's all.